we're having a look at how to create a curved deformation on the tie. The reason I've chosen the tie for this character is because I would like to give it a more organic feel and the curved deformation is just the thing for that. So I want it to be a little bit less stiff um, than when doing a rotation like this while keeping everything kind of smooth and flowing. Now the first thing that I want to do when I want to create a deformation is I want to have my deformation toolbar up so I can go and get it from Windows, Toolbars, and you have your deformation right here. This will bring up this toolbar right here that you can reposition on your workspace. I have quite a few buttons on here, but we will focus on selecting the rigging tool for now. When you have the rigging tool, you want to make sure that you have an element selected. As you can see right now, I have a little symbol indicating that I cannot do anything in my camera view. So select your drawing layer. And with the rigging tool, now I can affect my drawing layer from here. So I'm going to start off by clicking on the point of rotation and I'm going to click and drag. I'm not going to let go immediately. And this is going to create the first handle of my curve. So I'm going to make this one not too long and we can always come and adjust after that. And for my second handle, I'm going to go to the bottom point of my tie and create my other handle, which I've set as a little bit longer. So just click, drag, and once the handle is the desired length, you let go. So you're essentially going to be able to move those Bezier handles to create your curve. Now whenever your deformation is red, as it was just like that, it's not something that you can animate. This is essentially the skeleton of your character and you're not going to be able to animate with that. Um, but this is going to be the position you will reset to. So to animate, we're going to use the transform tool just as we would with a normal peg. So now you can see that my deformation is green and I can come and move these points around. I can select the Bezier handles as well and move, um, move the Bezier to affect the curve. And I can use the first Bezier as well. As you guys saw, I've set it as a little bit shorter because I want the bottom of my tie to have a wider uh, range or wider influence on the tie. And I want the top to stay pretty much the same. So this is all try and error. You can come and try different things if it doesn't work. You can always come to your rigging tool to adjust your original position. Speaking of resetting the deformation, if we want to do this, we can go and select our group of deformation, which is in our network right here. And once I have that, I'm going to go to my deformation toolbar and go and select the reset current keyframe button. And this will reset either the point that I have selected or the entire group if this is what I have selected. Just to see what is going on here when I apply a deformation to a drawing, I'm going to distort it a little bit and then go into my drawing by selecting one of my drawing tools. So as you can see, the drawing itself isn't distorted or deformed. The deformation group sitting above my drawing layer is actually the one applying the deformation. So if I wanted to have uh, the appearance of my drawing affected by this, I would need to bake those keyframes when doing the animation, but the drawing itself is never going to be affected otherwise. So I will see you guys in the next section to um, oversee what exactly uh, we can do to apply a deformation to a second drawing. See you there.